responsible for this great product, Orth Hedrick. All right, Orth? Thank you, Michael. Thank you. So as product pioneers, when we uh, came to market with this vehicle, we looked at four specific areas uh, that we concentrated on when we brought this car to market. Design, of course, which is one of our uh, icons and hallmarks uh, for the Kia brand. Luxury, performance, and technology. And for us, uh, all of these had to come together along with the positioning to offer a compelling offer for Kia in this space because it's packed with seasoned brands, uh, well-established, that have very strong reputations. So we, had, we, we approached the challenge uh, with a very specific uh, vehicle in mind. Starting with the design concept, for us, this probably, um, this vehicle started off in the concept stage right here, uh, pinned right here in California by uh, Tom Kearns and his team at KDCA. Uh, it moved over to Korea uh, to finish it into a production model, uh, and it's, it's a striking and beautiful vehicle. It's modern, it's timeless, and it has presence. These are the three things that we're really working on to, um, to establish this car in the marketplace. And it starts with this, this beautiful rear drive proportion, a stance and a look that you can only get with the rear drive platform. It's the, the balanced overhangs in the front and the rear, this generous proportion of wheelbase in the middle, and it has this presence as you look at the vehicle across the parking lot or as we refer to it, uh, the impression it makes as it's coming down the road, uh, which was for us really a key part of the equation when we started make, uh, developing this vehicle. Uh, and then it, it, uh, as you approach the vehicle closer, it follows up with uh, really elegant uh, uh, solutions and sophisticated touches, the design surfacing and the details on the vehicle, uh, an elegant new interpretation of our signature grille uh, that we have on all of our vehicles, and then also uh, really high-tech features uh, that we have, and also the stance as you pull it behind the vehicle in the rear, it has this great, great shoulder line, the strong shoulder line that feels confident, and it also plants the vehicle over this, this, this really long wheelbase. Um, and then also, as you saw last night at dinner, we had several of these parked with the lights on, really, really cool high-tech details, such as the 16 element LED headlights that's uh, standard on every one of these vehicles. Uh, in fact, the light on those headlights is designed specifically to mimic natural sunlight as close as possible to give it the best illumination at night. Uh, and the story continues into, into the interior design, which continues that kind of modern and sophisticated feel. It's not a stuffy old man's car, or uh, it's kind of our new definition of what an interior has to be. And it doesn't mean that it's overwrought with a lot of design details, but it focuses specifically on exceptional materials and creating a warm and inviting ambiance for the driver and four of his friends or family. So great looking interior. Um, also uh, starts off with materials. So the first choice for us was to really make sure that every touch point, every design, every element in the vehicle really feels luxurious and sophisticated not in an overstuffed way, but in a new modern luxury, including the Napa leather. It's, it took us about three, almost four years to find a supplier who was able to deliver this, uh, this Napa leather for us. Uh, the hides come from South America and it uses a tanning process that doesn't include chromium for us, which was very important. Also, the, uh, the surfacing of the, of the material and the development includes uh, several uh, processes of buffering, buffing to get that, that finish that we were looking for, that very soft hand that's also very durable. Natural wood accents, uh, a 16-way driver adjustable seat, and a pan full-length panoramic sunroof standard on every K900 that uh, comes to the U.S. market. Um, a couple of other things, uh, we have the heated in, uh, front and rear seats, but also a new tri-zone automatic air conditioning system, two zones in the front and also one for the rear. And one of the most proud features that, uh, that we love about this vehicle is the rear seat package. If you didn't get a chance to check it out last night, make sure you uh, spend a few minutes uh, in the rear seat. It's uh, absolutely accommodating and cavernous. Uh, but in addition, we've got some really cool features back there. Individually reclining seats, adjustable wing headrests, uh, privacy shades, and a center console when you flip it down has all the controls for all of the features in, in the rear seat, which is Great. Also, uh, a, a great uh, power assist story for the deck lid. It's a power assisted. Uh, we have this really nifty valet key that, uh, if you don't want to carry around the fob, you can slip this into your, your purse or your pocket 
It's about as thick as a credit card and it's a really high tech solution. And also auto cinch doors, so you don't have to swing the door shut. You can just get it close and it uh, pulls itself in. So definitely check out those, uh, the details later. Uh, from a performance standpoint, uh, we really concentrated on specific areas on this vehicle. Starting off with a rear drive platform that, uh, as I mentioned before, some other luxury makes still haven't figured out that rear drive is a key ingredient to enter into a premium space. Uh, it's a world-class platform and it, uh, and it has, uh, as I mentioned, a generous 119-inch uh, uh, wheelbase which is really the enabler for this, this great rear seat package, but also um, gives that, uh, that sense and presence as you, as you travel down the road. Uh, also, uh, a lot of work went into ensuring an optimal balance of about 52 front, 48 rear. And you'll feel this in the ride and during the handling, the car is very composed and, and uh, smooth. Uh, from a chassis standpoint, this probably, the body in white, has, uh, a lot of work has gone into understanding that, uh, that solid, structure is really a key foundation for delivering a premium experience in this vehicle. And here we've gone to great lengths uh, using up to 75% uh, high strength and also ultra high strength uh, steel. And this is uh, uh, an in-house uh, competency for us. The Honey Motor Group actually has uh, a steel operation within, so we've got a lot of metallurgists who are pioneers in developing and using this material. It's all made in-house. Um, and I think for us, uh, it's, a, it's a difficult material to work with, mainly because you have to stamp it while it's hot. And as it cools, the dimensions change. So there's a lot of work that went into ensuring that the dimensions hold tight and true, and also uh, to deliver that great ride. And here we've illustrated one specific point. This is the uh, center pillar ring reinforcement and also the cross brace <coughs> across the roof. goes over the whole vehicle. It's, there not only for safety, for side impact, but also to, uh, to give stability and strength to the, uh, the body in white. Uh, also first for us, is this is our first V8 sedan. Uh, use, it's the, uh, from the Tau engine family. It's five liter, it's direct injected, 11.5 uh, compression ratio. Both the intake and the cam are good <coughs> and continuously variable. Uh, and what that does is to ensure this really this really great uh, flat torque curve so that the vehicle has great launch offline but also delivers a lot of power when you're up and running. Uh, good for 420 horsepower and 376 pound-feet of torque. And it's also paired uh, very nicely with our first uh, eight-speed automatic transmission. It's a brand, this is an in-house design developed and manufactured by, uh, by just for Kia within our own family. Uh, compact and lightweight, it's a brand new design uh, it's also specifically designed for very quick response, uh, quick upshifts and quick downshifts, and also has the capability of, of, of changing the shift schedule depending on the, the buyer's or the, uh, the owner's uh, desire, whoever's driving the vehicle, uh, can control how the vehicle shifts. And of course, probably for us, uh, the, one of the, the biggest areas in addition to the luxury features, uh, the great platform and the materials is the ride and handling of the vehicle. And here, a lot of work went into ensuring that the right ingredients were in the vehicle right from the start to give a fantastic, sophisticated, luxurious ride. Um, it has a five-link, multi-link, multi-link, five-link, both for the front and the rear. We use extensive use of aluminum. This is to reduce the unsprung weight, but also to, uh, to deliver a more compact design. 19-inch uh, staggered wheels, so the front and the rear have, uh, have different diameters and uh, different sizes, uh, four piston front brakes for great confident uh, stopping this uh, large sedan. And also one of the points that we're uh, very, very proud of, and you'll feel it today when we drive the vehicles, is the NVH package. A lot of work went into ensuring that we have one of the most quiet vehicles, not in the industry, but specifically in this category. And uh, here we've gone to great lengths to chase down where the sound is coming from at its source. Uh, stopping it at source, blocking it from coming in the vehicle. We've looked at over 200 individual parts that we've covered or isolated from uh, uh, NVH generation. Uh, a lot of uh, advanced use of noise suppression materials to keep the sound from coming in the vehicle and hushing it once it's inside. Uh, also, uh, a lot of work underneath the vehicle. If you look on the underside of this vehicle, it has a full uh, belly pan. And that really is not uh, only for NVH and to reduce drag, but 
It also is to reduce uh, what is, we've determined is a, a significant source of noise, road noise, but also that rustling sound as the wind moves past some of the components underneath the vehicle. Well, we've managed to chase all those small elements down to reduce that rolling sound and also using laminated front and side windows throughout the vehicle. And of course, as Michael mentioned, uh, we've, we've noticed this new buyer who is really technology obsessed. Well, we have to pay a lot of attention on this specific area. Uh, and this is an area that Henry's put a lot of work and effort into. Uh, multimedia driver assistance, head-up display, and safety. From a multimedia system, we had, starts off with a great 9.2 inch screen right in the top of the, uh, the center cluster. And this really houses uh, uh, the new Uvo E services that we've developed specifically for this vehicle. And in addition to that, uh, the driver's information control system, which is um, right between the front seats, uh, you can control the multitude of the vehicle's functions uh, and settings right from your fingertips right in the front. Instead of having to reach around a whole bunch of different devices, we've contained all of that into that screen in front of you. So be sure to try it. It's very intuitive. Uh, it's, uh, we've, we've taken a lot of lessons from other manufacturers who've attempted to use this. And uh, once you spend a few minutes with it, it's, re it's really, really easy to use. Uh, and also thanks to our friends at Harman Kardon, uh, they've developed this amazing Lexicon 900 watt system with 17 speakers uh, and 12 channel digital amplifier that just sounds amazing. So uh, when you have a chance, make sure uh, if you have your uh, MP3 player with your phone, be sure you pair it and try it out and uh, try some of the features. It's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing system.